Well, hello everybody. This is Lisa De Nicolet, Writer for a Year, in what is the final post of Writer for a Year. And so, because I wanted it to be something really special, I thought I would come and visit the sleuth of Baker Street, which is, as you can tell, the most amazing mystery store. It's a mystery store of Toronto, and it is the place to come. And it is a place that is very close to my heart. The Madames of Mayhem and I have had a few launches here. Um, the Crime Writers of Canada and I have had a few events here. And actually, here is even a copy of our anthology. And I thought I would stop by and sign a copy of The Occult Persuasion and The Anarchist Solution and wrap up Writer for a Year. So it's been a fabulous year and above all I hope that you have found the posts to be informative and inspiring and encouraging because that was the main purpose of them. So um, keep being creative, keep writing, keep painting, keep in doing all the artistic things that you do and uh, keep supporting independent publishers, independent bookstores and um, I'm going to carry on doing all the things that I usually do with regard to the books, hoping to take this to Australia next year. Um, so there's lots on the horizon and uh, I'll be around. So thank you for following Writer for a Year. Um, it's been a fabulous adventure. Bye. This book, Book of Common Prayer, is a very complicated book with a lot of layers, and yet it all flows to a common point. When you write a book like that, you keep notes over a period of time and then begin to see the story unfold in your mind. It unfolds as you write it. And I mean, that's something I never believed before I wrote a book. Um, but it does. Well, as you know, Joan's a complete perfectionist. If she's thinking about something and feels she's stuck, she'll put it in the freezer. Do you know that? You That's know not that? a metaphor? That's No, in the freezer. She would put the book? The manuscript in the freezer, you know, in a bag, and um, then go back to it.